Wide World of Sports Complex at Disney World, and the winner grabs third place. The Harvard Crimson meet the USC Trojans. Free Crimson by Coach Tommy Amaker. It's a senior-laden group, a top 10 recruiting class that Amaker pulled in in 2016. Those seniors have not reached the NCAA tournament. That is certainly the goal here in their final college season. Harvard will be in the black, USC in the white. Harvard opened their tournament with a win over Texas A&M before falling to Maryland on Friday. USC beat Fairfield in what was a struggle for the most part, and then just got drilled by Marquette on Friday, giving up 51 points to Marcus Howard. Yeah, Marquette was off the charts against him, I, I, I would assume, after a day off. And uh, I'm sure multiple film sessions by Andy Enfield. This group will be much more locked in in his third place. The USC should be set number 15 in the white. Isaiah Mobley, the McDonald's All-American, the freshman, earning his first start of this tournament. In for Nick Rakosevich. Mobley earned the start with his 15 points and nine rebounds the other night. No, no question. Very versatile performer, and we saw it right there. Great dribble penetration. Rookie of the year. Down to two, Robert Baker, the versatile big, couldn't flip it in. Senior driving by freshman, couldn't finish the play, leads to a transition three. Alpha Andy Enfield's group, as we mentioned, Mobley earns the start. It is his fourth of the season. Anderson, the freshman, has really taken control of that point guard job. The ball movement, just missed an open look. Ball got transferred from one side to the other. Anxious. I was anxious to see how Harvard was going to guard post play as opposed to doubling it. They, what I refer to as dig from the perimeter, meaning the an angry team after to this trip to Orlando. They've taken out of the game against Marquette. Marcus Howard goes for 51. They've had an opportunity now to marinate out on, on that for about 48 hours, and I'm sure they want to play. You see the three ESPN 100 players in what was the ninth ranked recruiting class in the country. Congo and Mobley, both top 20 talents. Here is Mobley, got it back, and he puts it back home. And they see the same game we see, Ted. They have problems matching up inside, so let's zone and see if we can throw SC out of its rhythm early on having success. Oh, Congo lays it in and won. 500 a season ago. And yet, coaches are still figuring out personnel, combinations, trying to find the best way in which they can play. Kirkwood setting his feet. That's a three. Into a Kongu more. Harvard knows more who they are than USC at this stage just based on the experience versus this influx of talent for SC. But I love the look. So a 13 to 5 lead for USC here in the third place game. Here's Aiken. The step back three. That's pure but plays with a big heart right there, knowing his team needed a basket. Harvard now with back-to-back -back threes settling in. Nick Rakosevich is in, 31 in the white, going high-low with Okongwu, who just cannot beat. The game plan is to throw it as much as possible to 21. That's a good game plan. 10 points already for Okongwu. Ledlam got the step, and he throws it down. He's got the best vertical on the team. Chris Ledlam, ranked 99th in the ESPN 100. That was an explosive play. This is going to be a high-level game. Matthews, the scoop, count it, and the foul. Two, Aiken does, that spills him with a pretty hard shot, most especially Tongu, and they have not flinched. Continue to run their offense, continue to get ball movement, continue to get good looks at the basket. And Danilo Jur Jurchitz knocks it down. Much better rhythm now for Harvard. Aiken, another step back. This time over the freshman, Kyle Sturdivant. Now Sturdivant scored 11 points against Marquette, mostly in the final 10 minutes when the game was out of hand. Rokosevich needs a bounce back performance. And he puts it in. Quentin Adlesh, 10 in the white, knows all about Harvard. Graduate transfer from Columbia in the Ivy League. It's a turnover. Love the passing. Great fast break. Right. Tremendous pushback. We got a two-point game after SC was in complete control out of the gate. 
But that no look feed from Noah Kirkwood to Juricic. Here's Weaver from Cocoa, Florida, about 50 miles east. As Hubie Brown always said, never pick the ball up off one bounce off of a ball screen. Nothing good. Still unbeaten here. Harvard trails USC in the third place game by five. They've got it out of the timeout. I like the look. They got a size advantage, and they went right to it. He pays it. Saw the mismatch, went right to it, got a bucket. Noah Kirkwood, big guard at 6'7", from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. He's the X factor, according to Tommy Amaker. Well, he's a tremendous player. Matthews with the floater. Experience which allows him to really grow in his role without a lot of pressure, which I think is a good position for him. Lewis in the post against Rakosevic. Good deep. Off the window and the soft rim. Right off that backboard, that's an outstanding offensive play. Catch and shoot for Daniel Utomi, the graduate transfer. Being with it right there. Again, small sample size, but a guy that was really aggressive in all of his appearances throughout this tournament. He was a 39% three-point shooter in his three years with the Zips. Kirkwood hangs. Sophomore, he's still a kid, but he'll be able to make that shot for the next 20 years, will he not? I mean, everything is under control. He's got great touch, can go right, can go left. Good size, good player. Rakosevich challenged by Lewis, and the whistle 62% at the line this season. Is his calling card. He's got to play to that shot. But he he got his he got his win. You got to understand too. This kid was in high school basketball last year. Three games, four days against this quality of competition. Probably was taking its toll even on a big, strong kid like that. As soon as they put him back in the game, guess what? They throw him the ball. Now go to work against Churichich. It doesn't matter, O'Connor. It did not affect him. Great touch, great strength. Look how he moves his feet defensively. This kid is a tremendous talent. Christian Juzang giving it up to Rio Haskett, who splashes in the three. Adlesh, open look. Tapped it right back to him. Coming off of May 3 in the corner, his last attempt. You better double him quicker. O'Connor blocked by Baker, but a foul as well. And we mean you can put him back in the We're going to get you now 2-2-1 two, two, after that made free throw. We've seen SC do this the first two days in the tournament. Taken uh, to the rack down the baseline. Inside for SC. That ties it up points in the paint. Both teams with 12. They're pounding it to O'Connor. Oh, oh, now a slam by O'Connor. He's doing it off the bounce. Harvard has won the Ivy League seven of the last nine years in the regular season, including back-to-back -back titles. Ledlam leaning in, foul is called. Great hands. He is going to be a guy, but he doesn't look like a young guy. He's got an in Same action, high ball screen, roll into the basket, play four round one. Probably late in the shot clock, that's off the side of the backboard. And a foul will be on Okongwu. He is shooting the ball. He's playing. Got a matchup here he likes. Oh, Aiken trying to attack Mobley. Mobley did a good job. Staying with him. Mobley did a good job. Off those ball screens. Baker, the interception for Harvard. Aiken. Mobley the reap at the mark from three. I think he had it established. I see he's losing, losing a little bit of focus on hey, how we've gotten this lead. Good push there. Off the turnover, Mobley setting up that. The ability to initiate fast breaks at six foot ten. Oozing with talent. Ledlam knocks down the triple. Baseline penetration. He's wide open at the top. One point game. We got a competitive game in the finale of this exceptional tournament in Orlando. Sertiman was trying to go pick and roll with Okongwu, finally gets it to him. He is fouled and will shoot two. Wow, what a first half. Oh. With Lonzo Ball and, of course, Leangelo. Well, it worked out. That, that's a good job of early evaluation, which is half the battle in recruiting. Can he make it two in a row? Yes, he can. Chris Levy with his play in the first half. 
Now you had ACC and Big East offers, but chose Harvard instead. Good move there by Mosley. I love the extra pass. You tell me, wide open. And it Aiken got free. Mobley comes away with it. Mobley was the help defender there. Got to the basket. Verticality made him shoot over the top. Matthews, that's a two. And a timeout for Tommy Amaker. And I think both teams are trying to, to stay to who they are. If you're Harvard, spacing, it's movement. It's contributions from a number of different guys. If you're SC, I think you've realized, hey, let's throw that ball inside. 10-1. You have got to, be, got to be aware. What they're doing is they're putting Aiken in his ball screens, and then SC is doing what you have to do versus him and really support, and then they find the open. I want him to have it. I like to see him work in there. Good action. Oh. We've seen that a number. Ben is the opposite wing player. Mobley's found him. Kosovich has found him. Now Okongwu finds him. Matthews off the steal. He scoops it in. Now you got Rakosevich and Okongwu in the game together. Okongwu on the cut and off the glass for two to three. So he says, I owe you one big guy. Good penetration. Okongwu always appears open because he presents to the ball so well. Tough catch and an incredible finish. Kirkwood trying to go reverse side. He does draw the. And he is already turning into a dominant. It's a game that was played at Hoop Hall. Zion at 36 in the loss. Well, Kosovic blocked. Well, he's one of the few guys. Oh, oh, Kongwu muscles it in again. He's one of the few guys that can match up with Zion physically. This guy is a load inside. 21 for Okongwu. Aiken strong on the three. Okongwu tracks down the board. He's doing it all. That's a multiple effort rebound, which leads to an open floor bunny that he's going to regret that one. Man, that was an easy layup. Just a slight difference between the shot clock and the game clock, Andy. Yeah, but I wouldn't even bring anybody up. I just let him work on the top, and I think that's what Tommy's going to do. Just let him work, create an advantage. Thought he would pitch it, tries to force it, maybe thought he was going to get fouled. Good close to the half by USC after Harvard responded from a slow start. You for Aiken, one of three Harvard players, scoring 10 points. USC with it to start the half, and it's a lob to Isaiah Mobley for it's so deep. If you don't allow him to catch it so deep, you have time to be able to support off the ball so that he doesn't have such an advantage. 21 to nine. Yeah, incredible. Fight their way into an opportunity for a game. Each team losing in the semifinals on Friday. Late in the shot clock, Weaver, the Floridian, lost it. Good back tap. This guy's really good in the open floor, great with angles, but another freshman. Again, yeah, 16th in the ESPN 100, compared to 20th for Okongwu. Lewis had positioning. And you always want to be the second to leave the floor as a defender. Kongwu was solid. I think uh, Chris Lewis rushed it a little bit. And more time than he gave himself. Adlesh connects from Matthews. A step on Kirkwood. Now to Mobley in the corner. This is a two over the top. I'm not saying this is bad offense by any means. That's a clean look for a guy who's capable of making it. Fassi all the way to the cup. Lateral quickness has failed me a time or two. But I think I can Even with the away. race? <laughs> I think I can get out of the way. By the way, second time this tournament, but that table's been knocked over. Okay. Oh, Kongwu bringing the thunder. We're running a little baseline screening action. Trying to get Weaver going. He's struggled. He really has not been a factor whatsoever since the opening night comeback against Fairfield. And a shot blocked by Haskett. Weaver creates accountability. Accountability is a head coach's best friend. Kongwu up to 12 rebounds now to go with 23 points. 21 in the white. How can you miss it? There it is. Kosovic, the lob to Kongwu. Two more. He's getting a little gassed. He'll probably 
Ford is landing into is probably trying to get as much out of him as possible. Great split Anderson right there. Dropping it off to Rakosevich. Gathered it back in. That ball didn't touch the rim. Knocked out. Hawk breather now. It was not a shot clock violation against USC. Rakosevich at the rim. He lays it in with a foul. No reason to leak out to the perimeter. They have gone over in the second half. Good slip, good pass. Can it be four tonight? Yes, it can for Quentin. Uh, um, a few days passed. Really good team, nationally ranked. That's the, the Pac-12 is back and off to a good start. Strong play at the top of that league. SC should be right at the top. I see multiple teams from your league get selected in March. Passy with the steal for Harvard. One for 15 in this second half. Mobley swallowed him up. Sluggish against Fairfield in the opener. More talented, find a way to win. Completely manhandled yesterday, or two days ago, I should say, against Marquette, and a great response by the Trojans. And a pivot work from Mobley. He draws the company, and number six, North Carolina. We both agree, probably nothing at this stage. Yeah. His team was tested the first two days of this tournament against Harvard, against Temple, and then a resounding win over Marquette and Marcus Howard earlier today. Kirkwood sticking with it. And squeak by Fairfield. Lost by 21 to Marquette. Played in the shot block. Rokosevic. Yeah, I'm not sure. Blocked. I think he knew it, but I'm not sure he was complete. That kid had a tremendous game, most especially in the second half. Temple very impressive as well. Yeah, so Temple leaves two and one in this event. Winning the last two after falling to Maryland on Thursday. Mason look easy. Six to shoot for Elijah Weaver. Anderson, tough shot at the elbow. Okongwu offensive rebound. <laughs> About two more for Okongwu. He's got now. He's still such. Oh, he's a course. He's a baby. He can get in better shape. He's exhausted right now. Is that the big thing right now moving forward? Well, I just think you know the physical toll of a collegiate season on a guy who had never gone through it before. It's going to certainly take its unemotional kid. You've got guys as good as him and Mobley. And a a miss there inside for USC. That'll count as an offensive rebound, so now he is sitting on 14 rebounds on 27 points. How about Forbes coming in late in this game? Bucket earlier, now Bucket. That's funny, because Tommy Amaker told me yesterday, this quality win against Harvard, a loss against Marquette is not going to deter anything big picture if you can continue to play like you did tonight, most especially on the defensive end of the floor. Now the Ivy League tournament. Yes, it's not just the regular season winner going to the NCAA tournament. Got the conference tournament. Rakosevich lays it in. And last Orlando, not too long ago, Penn is always really good. Yes. Princeton, Brown, a good program, a lot of well-coached teams. I will say, I went to, oh, he, we had an opportunity to play against a guy that is running the point. We had two really good. The force was a head coach at Seton Hall in Michigan. And would be a sophomore in college. 20. 20 That's years amazing old. Amazing how good that kid is. And in Dallas, it is a joy to watch him night after night. Not to mention he has a versatile name. They obviously, Kong Wu's done. He'll be on the all-tournament team. I like the fact that he's playing this young kid. Use him in that same role, inside out. Weaver has yet, not yet scored and being unselfish. And by Amari Stoudemire Jr. <laughs> and Yeko that's going to stick. I'm going to try my best. 27 and 14. And Adlesh, the four threes. Great pass right that there. That should be noted. Shot clock. Massachusetts. With 57 seconds left to go in the tournament. I would hope so. He had nine in their last outing. He was the one guy at 15 and nine against Marquette. Just got 20 rebounds. He's doing the dirty work as well on top of that incredible skill. Also play by Forbes. Spin and Playboy from Lenko, Illinois. Forbes with the tip. Throw a little pressure on him. Why not? 
play it out, especially guys that rarely see minutes for Harvard. Oh, Max Akbonkpolo was looking to hammer it. Much upside as anybody on the team. Too, sure. This kid is long and lean. Uh, physically, he's ready from day one, really at any level, even the next level. Strength is not going to be the issue with him and with a lot of these guys. It just takes a while to mature into the way in which you need to play to be successful at the Division One level. Most of have shot it. See, that was the difference in the game. Here's Sturdivant. And that will do it from the Orlando Invitational. USC earns third place in this event as they beat Harvard 77-62. Andy Enfield's crew goes 2-1 and one here in Orlando. Onyeka Okongwu delivering a massive performance. His fourth double-double in nine games. The freshman with 27 points and 14 rebounds. Best game of the early season for SC. Great way to leave this exceptional tournament. Andy Enfield, when he rolls this tape on the flight home, he's going to like a lot.